Sick repair. Look at us being technical. This is the worst Replacing part of things. Having a house. Fixing things? Fixing things. Things break and we gotta fix them. Yeah, Our sink is have leaking. A, a leaky tap. A leaky tap. Uh, and so, you know, it's just a waste of hot water. Mm hmm. So it's they, leaking hot water. Leaking hot water. So, I don't know if you can see that, but. Let me focus. This is really dirty. Yeah, it is. You gotta clean them out. We should just get new ones. Black washer? Yep. No black washer. Yep. That's the problem. That's and that, problem. there's three different types apparently. There's a piston cartridge, there's a bowl, there's a compression. I'm pretty sure we're that we, one. We definitely have the compression. So it says get new washers, get new Where's black thingies. Where's the washers? Uh, I, I see know. no washers. No washers. Did it work? I don't know. You don't know? They fit. Well, that's good. So give me this. Okay. You go turn on the water. Oh, dear. And we'll see if we'll either have an explosion of water or nothing. Explosion bad, nothing good. Here we go. Oh, you can hear the water in the pipes. Oh. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> so it's about mid afternoon, and I am enjoying a hearty bowl of Fiber One in my koala suit, as you do. Uh, some days you just gotta eat some fiber one in a koala suit and I walk into the living room area thing Jedi temple and I can't help but notice that somebody has reorganized the bookshelf and then I set down my cereal nicely and I'm admiring this well-made bookshelf and I can't help but notice oh what's that Stanley Kubrick limited edition collection. And this is just a little bit perplexing to me because if you live with Cory, which you probably don't, but I do, you know that Cory doesn't watch scary movies. I have literally never seen Cory watch any type of horror movie. And so it's just weird that he would have the complete works of someone who has done so many horror movies or thriller movies. However, if you live with me, which you probably don't, but you might, you would also know that I love scary movies. And I love Stanley Kubrick stuff because he does so many scary movies. For instance, lately I've gotten the really bad urge to watch Jaws, which is by Steven Spielberg, and Corey loves Steven Spielberg, but I don't know if he's ever seen Jaws because it is a scary movie. My love for scary things started really young. I was like probably like 11 when I started reading Stephen King books, which is probably too young to be reading Stephen King books. But I did it, and I loved it. One of my favorites was um, The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon. And I used to get my allowance and then I would bike to the library, and I would get out a bunch of Stephen King books, and then I would go to the video rental store. Don't know if you kids know what that is. That's where you go to a building in order to peruse the um, films there, and then you pick one of the films in VHS or DVD form, and then you rent it, which means that you take it to your house, but then you bring it back after a period of time. And every time I would go to the video store, I would always rent a scary movie. And this continued for like two summers of just me just consuming lots of things that were probably uh, too mature and too scary for me, but I really liked it. But lately I just haven't watched a lot, and I think it's partly because people in this house don't really like watching scary movies. And I guess it's kind of true that I just am not into being scared as much anymore, but it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun just taking time to be really scared of a situation that you're not actually in. I think it takes really good directing to uh, achieve a really good scary movie. I, and I think that there are some scary movies that are better directed and some scary movies that are actually scarier. So tell me your opinions. Do you have a favorite scary movie or a scary movie that you maybe don't like but you think is really well directed? I wanna watch it. Tell me in the comments below. Oh, hey, hi. Whoa. You are very, very excited. The Oscars just started. I am at my parents' house, and I have come here because they actually have television. I don't have TV. So, I have a TV, but I don't have a television service. And because I love you. 
because I love my family and we love film, right, Dad? She is the oldest. Yep. I'm, I'm, I'm going for lost. Of course. This is my mom and my sister. Hi, mom and sister. And we all got a bunch of glowing screens in front of us. And uh, Ellen's on stage and she's killing it. <laughs> so I'm watching what I'm pretty sure is the Portuguese Oscars. Because, you know, why not? Someone put it on YouTube and they're streaming it, which is super helpful because really you don't have a television. Um, and they were kind enough to change the language to English, so half the commercials are still in Portuguese, but the actual show is in English, which is great. Uh, but that's the only way that I can watch this, and, like, weird, half of the commercials are in English, and half of the commercials are in, like, Portuguese. It's crazy. But the Oscars are super awesome, which is fun and exciting, and I'm sitting here by myself because crowd is too cool and everybody else is gone. So the Oscars are over and everything was super exciting and Leo didn't win, which makes me sad, but, um, because of that Oscars, I've been really, I, I just wanted to watch a movie really bad, so I turned on Netflix. I just wanted to order pizza really bad. And pizza, also, great thing, and this just, it has something to do with Leonardo DiCaprio, not intentionally, but I just found a movie, and I don't understand what's going on. Titanic 2? Really? Really? They made another Titanic movie? It's not very good. It's only two and a half stars. It's, well, obviously. Look they, at it. This is also four years it's ago. It's a cruise ship. You had four years This is this not out. okay. It's just a movie. But Titanic is a masterpiece. Yeah, and they made a second one. And, and they really made sucks. a parody, basically. You know, Jurassic Park they made is a, a masterpiece. Crappy they made a second one, and that movie. one's not very good. And then they made a third one, and that one was yeah, But at very least good the, the, the same people made those movies. This is like a random group of people. We're like, we're gonna make Titanic 2. Yeah. Well, at least you, <laughs> if, if it was five stars, you'd, you'd, you'd have a different tone of voice. Okay, but I didn't even look at the stars. I, I did. just went Titanic 2. Two and a half two, stars. What? Two and a half stars. We it's obviously ridiculous. not a great movie. No. I think you could figure that out. <laughs> I Just by looking at this the picture. Exists. That yeah. one right you there. You can tell right there that's not a good movie. Titanic 2! Give me daily vlogs. I want them in my subscription box. I wonder who might drop by. Even though sometimes it's Canada outside. So don't go away. We're here every day. It's not Apprentice A. It's Apprentice A. Hey, 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 hey,